What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. Here, where we over the last couple of videos here have, have talked about why shit coinery is, well, quite frankly, a waste of time, and why it truly is Bitcoin only, uh, especially when we're talking about uh, the monetary sense here. Okay, uh, and we have over the last couple of videos, right? Uh, first, just my, my general thoughts on on Bitcoin only, and and that it's that it's not so much that shit coins are bad but rather that all the things that we need are in bitcoin and that it's a really really efficient tool and that we have the 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 pleasure of using this tool as is without having to reinvent it and waste our time and attention uh, so the cool thing with bitcoin is that it is here that it exists and that we can use it to build amazing stuff on top uh, but we don't have to invent the fun the foundation all over again right uh, so yesterday then we talked about the wallets and how you can securely uh, store uh, the the private keys to your bitcoin well but that was all software solutions right how about hardware mm, okay that is tricky uh, so that is what we're going to talk about today these hardware projects explicitly state that they are bitcoin only and that is really really cool uh, so first and foremost hmm do, do you know them? <laughs> the Noddle, your personal Bitcoin assistant, your financial battle station. With both Bitcoin D, LND, BTC Pay Server, Tor Communication, a Ride the Lightning pre install. Oh, well, nothing is pre installed, but. Uh, and a beautiful admin interface, everything open source, initial block download, and well, record was 24 hours. And mine took 40 hours, so that's probably more reasonable. Um, but yeah, I've, I mean, you know the noddle. Um, it, it's, it's dope. It, it really is. It's, in my opinion, a, the minimum useful node. The minimum viable node is a Raspberry Pi, right? You can get the hardware for 75 bucks. And it's going to be slow. It's going to take a couple months till the initial block download is done. Uh, and it's not going to be resource uh, in or it will not have enough resources uh, to do all the cool things uh, that uh, that you could do right probably btc pay server is probably going to be the, the the as much as you can handle uh, with the raspberry pi node uh, but especially like for example like we're working on um, a gotenna integration for the noddle uh, or or stuff like uh, the whirlpool dojo right uh, which will also come to and the Noddle as well. So having better hardware is just overall more, let's say, usable, right? Uh, if you if you have a, a fast computer compared to a slow computer. So the Noddle, I, I think, is is really worth uh, checking out. And of course, there are a bunch of videos on the World Crypto Network about it. And you can see it, right? Here. There, there it is. <laughs> so if you, this is it. You know you know that the, the Noddle uh, is cool. And uh, yeah, let, let, so let's move on. Of course, we also have here talked yesterday about the Samurai wallet as a software solution. And the cool thing is with Samurai, the software, you can already connect it somewhat uh, to your full node. Uh, in their quote unquote trusted node, but that's not really a full integration and that's not really too much useful. But the cool thing is that with the soon to be released Dojo, you can have full um, integration of your Bitcoin full node to your mobile Samurai wallet. And that is awesome. So um, Samurai here has teamed up with the bitseed.org uh, who have built here this little nook, a tiny computer uh, that is even more powerful as the Noddle, uh, but therefore even more expensive as the Noddle. Um, so yeah, but, but the cool thing is here, you can really uh, see it, see quite beautifully here uh, on, on how you can use uh, this nice hardware together in conjunction uh, with the software. Uh, and then the also, uh, github.com, uh, what I would also like uh, to add here, though, that, that is not yet on the website, uh, but that I've talked about earlier, is here um, the Raspi Blitz, uh, which is, well, your... Uh, your Raspberry Pi um, full node, right? Uh, right here. Uh, it's, it's only running Bitcoin or Litecoin. But, well, if you install only Bitcoin, then it's only Bitcoin. And it's pretty much, I would say, like in, in this direction. So first, it's the Raspberry Blitz, right? Then it's the Noddle. And then it's the, the Dojo or the, the Bitseed here with the node in processing power, uh, I would say. Uh, so, but I think the Noddle and the Nook is pretty much uh, on par. So, yeah, um, here, Raspberry Blitz, I can also very much recommend. Uh, I, I ran it myself for a couple uh, thousand blocks, so that was nice. Okay, then this is something that now next I've, I've not known before, and it's so awesome. 
this blew me away just before the video now that now that I know about this. So it's called Revealer and encrypt your secrets visually. That's awesome. So let's let's look at this demo right here. We we have here a little a little dot or dotted nothing, right? It's just just some some cipher here, some QR code basically, with really small pixels. But what happens um, when you put uh, your quote unquote private key on top, and all of a sudden, if you align it right, look at this. What comes out is your monomic seed. Is that not awesome? Look at this. <laughs> this way you can have two different sheets of, of plastic, I, I would guess, and you store them on two different locations. And if you have only one, you can do nothing with that, right? But you need both of them in order to reveal the monomic. So this is pretty much a, let's say, a, uh, yeah, a, a kind of a, a, a secure two-factor authentication <laughs> for your uh, for your paper backups or plastic backups in that case. Is that not awesome? Look at this. This is so cool. Uh, so uh, yeah, it, uh, this it, it really did blow, uh, blow me away. So uh, I really like this one. Uh, and the cool thing is you can plug it in directly into your Electrum Bitcoin wallet uh, and apparently then um, easily generate these uh, for yourself. Uh, so that is really cool. Um, However, again, I have not yet tested that. Um, do you have something to hide? Cool. <laughs> uh, I've not yet tested them in person, uh, but I'm really, really intrigued and I actually want to buy one now. <laughs> so yeah, uh, check it out. Then, of course, we have also the lovely, the absolutely lovely Bitcoin cold card. This is a Bitcoin-only hyper-secure hardware, uh, hardware wallet uh, that will never be connected uh, to a computer connected to the internet, right? Uh, you will plug it in to a power bank or directly into your power outlet and then communicate from the cold card to your, uh, to your full node uh, or to your watch-only node uh, here with a SD card. And that's really awesome. And the cold card, again, we've talked a bunch of that about it on the World Crypto Network. It is really, really, really awesome. And absolutely, uh, the I can absolutely 100% recommend it. However, right here, what, what I have here is the Mark 1. The Mark 1, you see this here, has no buttons. It has only this weird little touch screeny thing. And the keyboard on Mark 1 sucks so bad <laughs> it really does uh, sorry to say that and it's on the border of being not usable but if you connect it to for example a, a power bank and you connect it with a really short cable uh, then it is most of the time actually it fixes the issues and if you run the latest firmware then especially okay uh, so uh, if you use this correctly then that's great um, but actually if you're if you want to buy one now don't get the Mark 1, but actually get the Mark 2. Because the Mark 2, upon with some other uh, improvements, the major, major improvement that is still needed was clicky buttons. And so the Mark 2 actually has clicky buttons. <laughs> and that is awesome because that fixes the only flaw. The only flaw of this little device is now fixed with Mark 2. And everything from now on is minor improvements. This thing is awesome. And I can very, very much recommend it. Um, but of course, uh, don't trust, verify. <laughs> uh, and then also, though, what we have uh, from the same company, right? Uh, uh, well, opened our, the, the CoinKite team, let's say, Rudolfo Novak, uh, also has developed here uh, the OpenDime, which is awesome. A Bitcoin credit stick, so to say. And uh, the cool thing here is that you generate a private key on this device in a way that it cannot be uh, revealed. But you, you, you would wonder, why would I not want to have revealed my private key? Well, the thing is, when you can prove that nobody knows a private key, then the cool thing is that the only place where this key is stored is right here and nowhere else. Not on a paper backup, uh, not on, on someone else's cloud computer, not in someone else's brain, right? Not, not even the mnemonic has been read by someone else. And and the really, really cool thing is that then you can, when you hold uh, this, uh, this little device, you actually know uh, for a fact uh, that the private key has not been revealed if 
right here, uh, if it focuses, I hope so, right here in this little, uh, this little uh, uh, circle here, you can and you should then, if you want to reveal the private key, break it. You have to physically punch a hole uh, through this little stick uh, in order to, to reveal the private key, uh, the secret. And the cool thing is, so then when you see, like this one right here, it still has the plastic on top and everything, it's not broken. So I can verify uh, that the private key is only here, only here, nowhere else. And that's really, really cool. Uh, so, so I really like that approach as well. Uh, and then the cool thing is that you can have complete offline transactions. Alice has this key, one Bitcoin is on there. She hands it over in meat space physically to Bob. Now Bob holds it and no registration on the blockchain whatsoever. This, this transfer from Alice to Bob has happened completely offline, completely anonymous. And then cool is that Bob can either punch a hole through it and, and withdraw it, or he can take the same uh, stick of one Bitcoin uh, and give it to Charlie, right? And now Charlie has, has, the, has the stick. And again, no link from Alice to Bob or from Bob to Charlie or from Alice to Charlie. That's awesome. Um, uh, what, what Charlie then could do, uh, let's say, is put a second Bitcoin on there on the same address. Uh, so there would be two uh, UTXOs on here uh, linked to the same private key. Uh, and then uh, Charlie could hand this stick with now two Bitcoins uh, in two individual UTXOs, could hand it to, da uh, to David, right? And again, no link whatsoever uh, between all these parties. Uh, and then when David punches a hole through here, he can send or he can spend uh, both of the UTXOs, uh, the one that Alice preloaded and the one that Charlie preloaded with the same private key. Uh, and then, however, if, if David then gives the same stick to, uh, to Alice uh, back again, she knows that, oh, no, wait, there's a hole in here. Uh, it's no longer, uh, no longer correct. Uh, it's no longer a, uh, the, the private key has been leaked. And thus, you, you don't know if someone else is going to spend this. So, not your money, not your keys, uh, not your Bitcoin, right? But the cool thing is here, you can transfer uh, the, the control of a private key completely offline without actually revealing a private key, which is awesome. Really, really cool. So this is kind of a hack uh, around Bitcoin uh, because well, or around digital signatures, right? Uh, really, really cool. Uh, and especially this, this stick right here, um, my first open time was gifted uh, by... Uh, this little guy here, uh, the Bitcoin uh, Bit Piggy, uh, which is a little uh, really cool, uh, really cool uh, thing where you can store your your fiat, right? Yeah, your your shitcoin, <laughs> your shitcoins can be thrown in here and then dumped for Bitcoin. Uh, or even better, uh, what you could do, right, is is uh, put in a couple or put a QR code, put a QR code of uh, the the public key right on here, and then everyone can send you a couple satoshis onto this open dime. Uh, and maybe put a thank you note in here. So then this is a Bitcoin only bit piggy. That is awesome. So uh, I don't know, it's, it's plastic, uh, but it still counts as hardware, I would say. <laughs> so Piers, uh, thank you very much here for, for joining me on, on this hardware session uh, for the Bitcoin only uh, website. Again, a really, really cool site, bitcoin-only.com with a bunch of awesome resources that, that I would say you can wholeheartedly uh, recommend uh, to others uh, to explore Bitcoin and not be lost within shitcoins. Uh, so we've talked about the three different levels of Bitcoin-only hardware wallet, hardware notes that you can have. The cheapest is a Raspberry Blitz, um, right? And then it's open source, everything, just, just Bitcoin and Lightning, awesome. Uh, but low-powered, but I mean, 75 bucks. <laughs> Can't complain. <laughs> then the novel is one step up. It's a, a Rock 64, right? More powerful than the Raspberry Pi, thus more expensive at roughly 400 uh, bucks. Uh, but therefore, it's much more powerful. It's much faster initial sync. It can run much more advanced software and just overall more a, a more robust financial battle station. Uh, however, then there's also the uh, bitseed.org who have partnered up here with Samurai uh, to bring you the dojo, uh, which is their hardware that you can connect uh, to your Samurai mobile wallet. Uh, so that is really cool. Uh, but also the dojo software is open source. So it will come to the noddle uh, really, really soon, like, like literally within the next two weeks. <laughs> this time, I mean literally. <laughs> uh, and 
I don't know if, if the if the Raspberry Pi is uh, has enough resources uh, to to handle the software. I'm not sure, uh, but let's see. Uh, we have here this awesome, awesome, awesome uh, visual encryption of your uh, seat backup. Uh, so. I'm blown away from, from how awesome this is and how intuitive. So I really, really like it. And we also have the amazing cold car wallet for truly cold storage, um, Bitcoin only and hyper secure. And with the Mark II, even with clicky keys, isn't that awesome? And the very first and very only Bitcoin credit stick, a bearer asset uh, that hacks around elliptical curve uh, digital signatures uh, or asymmetric key cryptography in general uh, by not assigning a transaction to uh, to uh, change the ownership, but actually by giving the private key away, uh, if, like which ones is not how you actually should use asymmetric key cryptography, but it's a nice way of hacking around and being sure that you can send uh, only Bitcoins only offline. Isn't that awesome? Pierce, thank you very much here for joining me again and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.